Hello and hi everyone. Let's talk about on how we can classify real numbers. Real numbers can be classified into few types or groups. Let's start with the simplest one, natural numbers. So natural numbers. Denoted by capital N. So uh, what does it mean by natural numbers? Well, natural numbers are numbers that we use for counting things and objects. So uh, let's say we have this flock of sheep over here. So uh, we have our sheep over here. So uh, let's count them. So we have one, two, three, four sheep. So uh, these numbers can be written in set notation like this. Is equal to curly bracket one, two, three, four, and so on. So this is what we call as natural numbers, and these are the elements of natural numbers. The second type is what we call as the whole numbers. The whole numbers. And whole numbers are denoted by capital W. So uh, what does it mean by the whole numbers? Well, basically whole numbers are just natural numbers include zero. So uh, the element of whole numbers should be again curly bracket should be natural numbers so uh, we have let's say one two three and so on include zero so include zero so these these elements these numbers are the elements of the whole numbers and the third type is what we call as integers. Integers. And we denote integers with capital Z. Capital Z. And integers consist of natural numbers. Zero. And the negative part of natural numbers. So uh, the negative part of natural numbers. So what 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 are the elements of integers? So uh, for for instance, we have zero and natural numbers. So we have zero, one, two, and so on. And the negative part of natural numbers. So let's say we have negative 1, negative 2, and so on. So these, these numbers are the elements of integers. Moreover, integers can also be, be classified into what we call as positive integers and negative integers. And we denote the positive integers with capital Z plus and the negative integers with capital Z negative. So uh, basically, the positive integers are the natural numbers. So 1, 2, 3, and so on. And the, 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 negative, the negative integers are the negative part of the natural numbers. So we have negative 1, negative 2, and so on. And, and we can also see that 0 is either positive it's, it's neither positive nor negative. And the third, the, the fourth type is what we call as rational numbers. Rational numbers. Rational numbers denoted by capital Q. Capital Q. And what's, what does it mean by rational numbers? Well, rational numbers are uh, numbers that can be represented as a fraction of two integers. So uh, 
I can write like this. Rational numbers are numbers that can be represented as a fraction of two integers. So let's say I write like this, P over Q. And in decimal form, it is, it is either terminating or recurring. So decimal form decimals it's either terminating terminating or recurring recurring okay let's let's let, let's have a look into these numbers this example let's say i have 1 over 2 over here half which equals to 0 0.5 Five, and let's say we have negative 2 over 3 equals to um, negative 0 0.666 so on and let's say we have 3 over 11 which e equal to um, 0 0.2727 to 7 so on and uh, maybe we have some just one more example maybe we have um, 3 over 8 3 over 8 which um, equal to 0 0.375 so if you look at these numbers let's say in the first one half or 1 over 2. 1 over 2 is, is one of the examples of rational numbers. Why? Because because it it obeys the, the, the first definition of rational numbers, which is the fraction of two integers. 1 is one of one is the element of integers and 2 is also the element of integers. And and if you can see this, 0 0.5 is in decimal form and, and it ends with number 5. So this one is one of the example of decimal form that is terminating. So let's say I write here T for terminating. What about negative 2 over 3? Negative 2 over 3, again, it obeys the first definition, P over Q. And also, the interesting part is when we look at the, the, the decimal form, it, it shows that it never ending. It, the, the number 6 is, is repeating itself. So this is what we call as the recurring decimals. And plus, we can write this down like this, negative 0 0.6 with the bar on top of number 6, which shows that number 6 is repeating itself. This is what we call as the recurring decimals. And what about the third example, 3 over 11? Again, we can see that the, 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 the decimal form is still is not terminating, and this is what we call as recurring. And for the last one, 3 over 8, 0 0.375 is the terminating. Good. And now, let's move on to the fifth types, that what we call as irrational numbers. Irrational numbers. Well, what does it mean by irrational numbers anyway? Irrational numbers are basically, it's not rational numbers. So irrational numbers cannot be represent uh, cannot be represented as a fraction of two integers and the decimal form is neither terminating nor recurring so uh, for example let's say we have we have pi the number pi which takes the value of 3.14159 etc etc so if you if you, if we look at this number we can we we can't represent this in a fraction of two integers and also um, for for its decimal form it's neither terminating it doesn't end with number nine and and also we can we can't see any pattern to be recurring so pi is one of the example of irrational numbers and we we have also set five. Set 5 is equal to or approximately equal to 2.36067977Q. 
keep on going. So again, this one is neither terminating nor recurring. And the last one, let's say we have E. E takes the value approximately equal to 2.718281828, etc., etc. Again, it is not terminating decimals nor recurring decimals. So uh, I hope this video helps you in classifying real numbers. Till next time, bye-bye.